if you're thinking slide ahead, Tornos technology might be one route you want to take. And today we're going to look at the DT range of machines. Michael, can you tell me about these, these machines, please? It's a full range that we present here with uh, four machines. We we'll cover a big diameter for the small to the big diameter for 13 up to 38. 13 to 38. And it's six machines. There's actually six machines in the range, is that correct? Yes, correct. Okay. So we have two range, the HP high performance will allow you to put a B-axis on the machines, and then we have a S-speed, which is a more simple, but cover a major part of your components. Okay, now one great thing about these machines, the main spindle, and you call it counter spindle, because they have the same speed and power in, in both, is that correct? Right, the, the main and the counter are the same, so you allow you to more, more balance the cycle time to have a 50% on each side, if possible. Right. Rather than going 75%, 25%, Okay, now you want to keep these machines running all day, every day if you can. Do you have um, chip breaking technology in there? Yeah, for sure. We have the brand new CNC control on it from Fanuc, and we are allowed to have the ACB Plus that we develop with Fanuc okay. in collaboration, that you have the chip breaking last version you have on the software side. Okay, so two things there. You, the Tornos machines come with Fanuc control, so if you've not had a Tornos mach machine before, it's going to be very simple to transition and use. Yes, it's very simple. It's the standard fan hook that you are using on all your other machines. Okay, and the chip breaking technology, it's a one line of code to turn it on and off? Yes, yeah, just put your G-code inside, nice. it will work, and nice the chip and will break it. Okay, now also you have software to complement the fan hook controls. What is that? We have the Tizis. This is our own software. Yep. We allow you to just bring your machine in a high 4.0 world with all the accessibility, the connectivity to the other machine and so on. Okay, now the range, you have six machines in the range, ranging from, again, 13 to 38, is that correct? Yeah, 13, okay. 26, 32 and 38. Okay, and you can go guide bush and guide bush less as well? Right, depending if you were to show the remnant, yeah. for sure parts on, it's a helpful side. In uh, less than 15 minutes, you can change for right. one time to the other. Okay, one. especially in this environment because um, supplies are very expensive. Your, your, your bar is very expensive, isn't it? So Right, okay. depends also on the type of material, but it's come a huge topic. Okay, and also then, what type of bar? Can I, does the, gar, the bar need to be ground? You use, we use standard one. Uh, quality H9, I would say, yep. and then you will have also the option with a three position guy bush also, yep. and then you can have up to H11 quality bar material on the machine. Right, so essentially you can run, run that bar all day, every day, there's no issues at all. Yeah, for sure. Okay, now looking in the envelope of the machine, there's a lot of tooling, a lot of axes. How many axes does it have? It's a five axis machine, okay. three in the main side and two on the counter side. Okay, but also you have an option to add a B axis after you've bought, well, when you buy the machine or afterwards? Yes, right. You just buy the machine with the preparation for the B axis, yep. and then you are able to mount it on the whole range. So just have one axis, maybe for the 13 and the 38, yep. and you add it in a few hours on the machine you need it. So nice and simple. Also, in terms of your tooling, you mentioned that it's a modular set of tooling. What does that mean? That means we have tooling with, you can have very flexible, we have a cover a whole range of tools that you need for turning to milling, polygon attachment, right. thread whirling, thread whirling, all, all sorts. Also, for okay, sure. Okay, so you've got driven tooling, static tooling, so essentially super complex part, parts made really easy on these machines. Yes, you would just change your setup with the help also with our software, it will yep. be helpful to make the right tool in the right position very quickly. Okay, and with that modular tooling you can prepare it outside the machine and have it and get it transferred very oh, set For very sure quickly. you can add some different type of attachment that allow you to make some quick change yep. system. Okay, and are these machines aimed at any specific industry or? Yeah, we will cover the major part of a job shop with a special yep. one, it's perfect, beautiful machine and then you have also the cover the range for automotive, or yep. very known customer in this segment and uh, medical also. For sure. Okay, so you're making some super complex parts if required. Yeah. Yep. Okay. What about, I mean, you want to run these machines obviously 24-7. Is thermal growth an issue? Yes, we have also a guide bush or the spindle with uh, ceramic bearings. Right. So we'll uh, also cool the spindles yep. to keep it uh, in the right uh, thermal stability. Yep. And then you can add some cheap conveyor and so on to avoid, avoid to remove chip by hand. So you can work 24-7. Uh, 24-7, okay. So essentially getting a really fast, accurate machine. But just looking at one final thing, just looking at the machine itself, very solid, but also very small. Yes, it's a one single part cast iron, yep. very solid. 
and in a small footprint for sure because this is also important today to have a small footprint. There you go, so that's the Tornos DT range from the guys at Tornos Technology thinking about what engineers require. Thanks to you.